How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. I believe this is episode 23. In this episode, we continue working on this registration modal. We need to go ahead and make it so that whenever we click on the actual modal inside of the text box, it makes the border blue. So that's exactly what we start working on whenever we type out. It goes to gray, or if there's an error, it is red. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code, and we'll get right into that. At this point, we have everything set up to be able to actually do the login modal or the first part of the login modal, but we're not able to switch between different colors and make things smaller. So this is Twitter. If we take a look at ours, you see it just stays the same. We might also want to change the color here from light gray to regular gray. So I'll look into that as well. So to go ahead and do this, the first thing I want to go ahead and do is hop into our global interfaces. So instead of our global interfaces, I'm going to go ahead and make a new interface, export interface, and it's going to be called validated um, input state. And inside this, we're going to have active, which is going to be a Boolean. We are going to have valid, which is a Boolean. We are going to have typed in, which is a Boolean. We're going to have label active, which is a Boolean. And finally, we are going to have a label color, which is a string. So we're going to use this inside of our validated input to go ahead and change some things that we need to change. So let's go ahead and hop into validated input. Inside of validated input, we are going to go ahead and import this validated state. So import validated input state like so. And we need to set up the state as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So down here, inside here above our return, go ahead and say const and we'll say validated state and set validated state is equal to use state with validated input state inside like so we may also have to set this but it looks like it's all good we need to go through and set up our on focus on blur and on change and do all of that good stuff so let's go ahead and focus on that so now under here we'll go ahead and say const focus and then this is going to equal e colon react dot focus event and this is going to come from html input element like so and this is going to return void and let's go ahead and do our arrow function. So now what we're going to do is going to say set to validated state dot 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 validated state. Maybe. And then we're going to say active is equal to not validated state dot active. So we're going to um, and we need to go ahead and set this. So we need a, let's go ahead and grab these again, paste and paste these in here and we'll fix all these. So these will all be, this one will be false. This one will be true. This one will be false to start. This one will be, oops, this should be a label active. This one will be false to start. Then finally label color will be gray to start. I believe and we need to do it like this gray cool and now that's fine i want to double check all of our colors and everything um, but that is going to be our focus and then what we want after this is const update value const update value is equal to e this is going to be react dot change event this is going to be on html input event or input element again this is going to be void now in here we're going to say set validated state and inside here we're going to say dot 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 validated state is equal to uh, this and let's say typed in is now true because we typed in it and did i miss something here I forgot the the value inside of our validated input state. So let's go ahead and add that as well. We need value 
which is going to be a string as well. And now we're going to say um, value is colon to nothing. And then here we're going to say value is e dot target dot value. Whoops. E dot target dot value. And we need to do that. There we go. So now we'll set the value as well. And then finally, we'll go ahead and call the change value function that's passed in and pass in the E. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and change this later or update this later to just use whatever it's called Redux. But for the time being, this is what we're doing. So now we need to go ahead and set up all of this good stuff. So now color is going to be validated state or actually we're going to say here validated state dot active instead of true this is going to be validated state dot valid and we'll set the valid later color will now be validated state dot um, label color uh, active will be validated state dot label active and then valid will be validated state and i will do one of these um, so valid will be validated state dot valid so this is kind of like the internal color and then this one is the color of the actual label so now on focus is just going to be focus on blur is going to be focus and on change is going to be update value. And now, theoretically, we should be able to change some things. We're not necessarily going to be able to get the, the styles and everything. Um, and one other thing that I want to go ahead and do is change the style. So I'm going to go into determine styles and inside of here, uh, I don't want the label. I want the light gray. And I want this to just be gray because I don't love the color as is. So now if we take a look and refresh, it's still not working. So active and valid or not active and valid. That should be correct. And that should be the, oh, that's the input border. Just kidding. It's the label that we want. So this should be, so this one should still be light gray. So I mess that up. This one should be gray. Refresh there. Now we can see it better. Cool. So now if now we need to figure out how to change this stuff as we see now we can see it's blue but we need to ch make some changes to the label in here and some other things as well. So that's the next step and we also need to figure out whether or not it's valid. Um, and if it's valid, we won't show this message, but we'll deal with that in a second. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.